And welcome at this late hour to the Preston Guild Hall and the last two matches of the day in the CIS UK Indoor Championship. We've had four matches so far and this is how they turned out. Well, a real shock in the first of them with the holder Tony Alcock. He lost to the Scottish champion Colin Somerville. And Colin will now meet another Scot, Richard Corsi, who beat Clifford Craig from Ireland by two sets to one. Stephen Rees, the champion here in 1986, he beat the crown green player Robert Crawshaw in straight sets. And then in the first match tonight, Ian Bruce went through again in straight sets against Alan Mathias of Wales. So that leaves two matches to complete tonight. We left Jim Baker and Keith Rennick there earlier with Baker one set up and 5-3 up in the second. But Rennick, I can tell you, came back to take that set 7-5 to make it one set all in the best of three. Well, Baker was playing well, no doubt about that, very well. But Rennick was beginning to match him. And in fact, he went on to take a 3-0 lead in the deciding set. He's bowling now, commentators Mal Hughes and David rees -Jones. Just over two feet. Mm -hmm. The longer the game goes on, the better this young man is playing. Taking his chances. Just shows what a fighter Jim Baker is. Beautifully weighted backhand delivery for shot. Wasn't far off target. Well, he's played so many good running balls that uh, he felt quite confident they could do it. To either take the ball out of the head or take the jack in the ditch. Well, Jim Baker now has got to get another one in. And if he does get one in, is he liable to keep it? Determination, experience, character, and skill. Now, well, Keith Rennick now looking at that. And the point is, if he drives off the forehand, the blue ball to the left of the jack, if he catches out in the extreme edge, he can take both of his own balls out and leave Jim Baker a free throw. Pays it off the backhand, then there's no danger of that. Well, that's a, a rather strange thing that uh, the marker has asked Jim Baker to move, and that's why, for some reason, the marker must have known that uh, Keith. Rennick was uh, about to fire 
and suggested to Jim Baker that he got out of the firing line just in case there were any bowls flying about. Well, David, of course, the Irish look after the Irish. Now, Jim, forehand draw, delicate. Or is he going to chance the backhand again? Prepares the hand, and he's playing it. This, of course, is the final delivery of the end. As long as he gives enough green, he can't go far wrong. Look at this. This is absolutely brilliant. 